another day on the project. We're not in our backyard. We're actually in somebody's front yard. But anyway, so this is that composite material. And they hand out, show one of the little clips. All right, these are the universal clips, all right, that you put between. And each board has a groove. All right, and then uh, it, you know, so Jane's going along. And we have found out that some, every once in a while we have to put in what is called a finished screw, which has a very small head to it. And uh, it's caulkable. But anyway, so I'm cutting these. She's installing them. And they're easy to cut. And we do have some cap ends that are coming that covers that cap. Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting little shims because the brick wall is funky. So I'm Van, that's Jane, back our carpenter baby boomers can do. I think this is third day. Yep, and it's time for Dr. Pepper. Is today Wednesday? Yeah. Fourth day. <laughs> Fourth day. First day the camera malfunctioned. Oh, so. that's right. You're right. All right, there you go. And it's, th it's time for Dr. Pepper. See, she's locked that board down. One thing Jane asked me to do is make these little shims. So to go on top of the board to kind of keep everything level, all right? And she said it's working, all right? So this is a shim. That little piece right there, you see right there? There's a little shim right there, all right? Got a shim right here. And it seemed, uh, it seemed to work a lot better. And mm -hmm. um, the clips are, uh, she's learned with these universal clips like this, you know, you just take them down to a certain point and stop. And then stop. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to cut her a bunch of more boards. So pretty soon she'll be able to, you know, stand on top of them and screw these down instead of having to stay in between uh, the floor doors. Somewhere out there, somebody needs some rain, but we don't. <laughs> so we keep praying, quit now, no more rain, no more rain. But, you know, we're getting, Jane's going to lay down those last two boards. The uh, family can actually enter the front door. All right, I will return tomorrow and finish this. And then I've got to move over here. I've got my lumber right there so that I can finish this out. And this is a lot simpler because it's just going to be five foot boards instead of these uh, almost 12 foot boards. So, oh, and oh, Jane wants me to get her. So I'm, I'm, we're going to say goodbye. Bye. That's Jane. I'm Van. We're the backyard carpenter. Baby boomers can do. She has done installing this all by herself. I, you know, I only helped her a couple of times because I'm doing all the cutting. She's doing the hard and then I had to go to the hardware store. So. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, Jane works for the county, so she won't be with me. I'll be having fun somewhere. <laughs> and then we head to Florida. <laughs> I know we said our goodbyes for today, but Jane has got a really good point, and that is she's learned that go ahead and put the clips in place for the next uh, board and it helps hold the board that she just installed. Does that make sense? Is that is that the way to explain it? Yeah. Okay. So she's just setting it. She's not actually locking it down. She she's just setting. Okay. All right. And then she moves down to the next one. All right. This is a very specialized bit. Let's see if you can see it. Specialized bit. Very long. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a very small headed screw. Yeah. So, anyway, we thought we needed to point that out for anybody that's thinking about using this system with these locking pin, uh, the locking, what would you call them? I guess clips. Clips, yeah, locking clips. That, uh, as she goes along, she's locking down the boards we're working on, and then she'd go ahead and, uh, installing but not locking down the next one mm -hmm. good idea and we've had we've had to shim everything because <laughs> these walls are not uh they're, they're not uh anyway uh and then she loves she loves these uh, they're actually composite shims these 
She really likes them because they're easy to snap off. The wooden ones over there are not easy to handle. Okay, so uh, so now we are going to say goodbye again. All right, and then I'll be doing this by myself. So again, I'm Van, and she is the most wonderful Jane. And she's willing to try anything uh, when it comes to being the backyard carpenters. So, At least once. So I'll be by myself tomorrow because she's going to work for the county.